two, three, funk it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Vinny C5 here. I'm really excited to show you guys today's makeup routine that I have been wearing lately and that I'll probably be wearing for the rest of the summer inside my house since we're not gonna be able to go anywhere. But I have been loving this skin routine because it's making me feel really good about my acne prone skin that I'm having at the moment. And it just makes me feel really beautiful, really youthful. I love how these are all cream based products and I don't do a lot of like setting. It's very minimal to me in my opinion. It's really been enjoying doing this makeup. It's really fast and easy for me. And I have a lot of, a couple of new things that I've been using too. So let's just get right into it so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Sorry. So I'm going to be going in with my Aversion Marula Drunk Elephant Oil. If you're oily, I will see don't recommend this stuff for you. You can completely skip it, but this is just what I feel like has been making my face look so absolutely flawless under my foundation. And this foundation routine, I've really been liking because I haven't been feeling that great about my skin lately. It's been very textured, very unpredictable breaking out so much really 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 red so this foundation routine just makes me feel so good about my skin so good about myself and this combo honestly just has been my go-to for a while now i think i talked about it on my instagram i think i've talked about it in other videos but i'm just updating you on a whole new foundation routine so yeah let's just keep going um i am going to be a little bit chatty today i am packing to go to mexico i have to go you guys will find out later why well, I had to go when we making a video about that too, but yeah, I just am packing today. I leave on Monday, today, Saturday. I'm really excited about that because I get to see my boyfriend obviously too. So let's just go on in with the base. My Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, and I'm just going to apply that a little bit. I'm not going to apply it too much because I am going to use another foundation, so just about that much. And then I'm going to go in with my Giorgio Armani. Like the title says, this is a more high-end foundation routine, so... If you're not about that, then I'm sorry, but I love these foundations together. I don't like them that much on their own. Even when I had really flawless skin when I was on Accutane, I didn't like this foundation on its own. I don't know why, that's just me. Where's my beauty blender, bitch? Damn it. Okay, I apologize. I had to stop to change the settings on my camera, so if it looks a little different, then that's why. But yeah, I have this shade 5.7 in the Giorgio Armani foundation. I'm just going to put that about two squeezes or like more like one and a half on my little blender here from e.l.f. that I love so much. And I'm gonna be applying that all over the face. Like so. I'm not too worried about the coverage even though I do need coverage like a lot on my cheeks, especially, mostly just on my cheeks. I'm not worried about the coverage because I am gonna go in with another item for that. Just trying to get an overall even base with this foundation. I'm also using, look how cute these new um, hair clips. They're not new, but like everyone's bringing them back. I really got inspired by Delaney Childs. Delaney Childs? I think that's her name. I'm her name right here. You guys probably, probably already know who she is. She's a huge Insta Instagrammer and YouTuber. She's fucking beautiful. Her style is the bomb. I'm just obsessed with her right now. So I saw her wearing this and I'm like, I'm going to go buy one. And I actually bought a pack at Target of two. So it came with the black one and this brown one, if you could see it. I think they're so cute, so... Yeah, that's what I'm rocking right now. But yeah, let's just move on to the next step. I'm going to be going in with the KKW concealer in the shade 4. A lot of people feel some type of way about this concealer, but I probably wouldn't purchase this one again. I'm going to try the ColourPop concealer, the original one, because I do feel like they're really similar. And then if I try the ColourPop one and I don't like it as much as this one, then I'll go back and purchase this one. But yeah, I really like it at the moment for like evening out my skin tone and covering up my spots that I have here. So I have a spot right here. Spot right here. The thing about my skin is that when I break out, they're really dark. I think it's because I'm pretty fair. So when they break out, they're just really noticeable. They're really purple, really red. But I'm just gonna let that sit and warm up on the skin for a while while I go in with concealer. I was gonna do a whole video about TikTok makeup hacks, but if you watch TikTok, you probably already have seen this. So I'm just like, whatever, I'm just gonna include this in my video. But I've been loving this technique. Let me get a little mirror, guys, because I can't see shit. I'm going to put some right here, some in the inner corner, some on the outer nose areas, and then some on the sides of my nose to, like, highlight my nose. Some right here, and then some on the, the edge of my lips. Yeah, and I was like, this is crazy. This is not enough, but you guys should see how good this looks. When I'm using my 
favorite elf concealer, obviously. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish from e.l.f. I love, love this concealer. Like, literally can't get enough. If you haven't tried it, you're living under a rock. You really should. Just doing a little bit there. And I'm actually going to go ahead and blend out the cheeks now, now that they've been on there for a while. And before I blend out the eyes. So guys, how's everyone been doing during this quarantine? I feel like I haven't been posting that much just because I'm having like such a hard time getting inspired. I have all these ideas of like photos I want to take for my Instagram, of all these themes I want to do. Like I'm just really excited about the outfits I'm going to wear. And but I just can't get myself to do it. You know what I mean? Like I keep wanting to vlog my quarantine, but it's like you guys are going to get annoyed. Like I do the same thing every day right now. I exercise like maybe three times a week maybe two times a week like i'm just not doing that well on my program that i was filming so i'm just like not as motivated if i'm being honest but i am going to do a whole video of things that i've learned during this quarantine i'm really excited about that so stay tuned for that oh, here it is this is my absolute favorite brush for concealer and just pat it on it's a perfect shape this is the mac 99 brush it's for blush but i use it for a concealer so i'm just patting that concealer in really gently mostly trying to go around the concealer not like directly on it and the reason i let that concealer sit for so long before i blend it out is because i feel like it's already kind of set on my skin so when i go in and blend it out it's not going to move that much does that make sense maybe it's just me maybe it's just a belief that i have that i actually feel like it works so there you go i feel like you can't see it as much redness you could see texture obviously because i have so much texture right now i've been having texture for months like i don't know what to do changing up my skin routine nothing's been working i'm just trying to not think about it that much so i'm gonna blend this out now what i really like about this routine is that i know it seems like a lot of foundation because i used two and i did use like a lot of like the first one but it doesn't look like it's that much foundation. Like I get a, an overall correction all over my face. It's pretty, it looks flawless. And it looks, I would say, more natural. More natural for me right now, I think, of my definition of natural. Because I've been using so much matte foundation. Trying to not emphasize my texture as much. But then I tried this combination out again. And I'm like, wow, like I forgot how much I love this. And I feel so beautiful in it. Even though you, the glowiness kind of does emphasize my texture a little bit more. I don't really care because my skin looks hydrated. It looks youthful it looks healthy you know even though i do have the texture underneath i forgot that i don't even like using a blender for this so where's the other brush here it is i'm using this morphe brush this is the morphe e6 and i feel like everyone and their mom has this brush if you haven't purchased it over the past five years i don't know what you've been doing with your life because it's literally so good you want to make sure not to blend over that line that you created because then you're kind of just defeating the purpose of uh, pulling your face, pulling your face, making your face look pulled up or like lifted. As you can tell, I did not bring any concealer onto my eyelids because <coughs> something different with that as well. So let me just set my, my under eyes and then we can move on. Okay. Where is my powder? Where is the powder? Where is the powder? So, of course, I'm going in with my Morphe, my Morphe, my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade 5. You guys know how much I like that powder, okay? You know I like it. You know, I'm always going to use it. If you're tired of it, I'm sorry. I'm going in with this Kat Von D double-sided brush. It's like the highlight and contour. And I'm going really heavily into the powder, and then I'm dusting it off. And I'm just literally lightly setting it, like literally barely setting it. I'm not even kidding. I don't like a lot of powder under my eyes anymore. I feel like it makes me look dry and old and cracked and it just makes me look so unhealthy and so dehydrated. Really into this Hula Stick by Benefit lately. I feel like I have a big forehead lately so I've been putting a lot of contour on there. And I just kind of do the nose a little lightly. I know that's kind of like um, broad, but I'll bring it in. Another thing I saw on TikTok from this model that I love. She's so freaking pretty. I'll link her name right here. She posted this. She goes into the, like, this like Tom Ford men's bronzer or something. I don't have that. And I probably will purchase it because it looks so good on her. And I feel like it looks so good on me. Maybe. It'll make me look like her. So we'll see. But I'm just going to dip my finger into the bronzer. Into the bronzer. Into the hula stick. And just... 
kind of go over my lips like this and then I'm going to blend it out. I know it looks a little crazy. She does do a little bit less. I like to do a little bit more. But she said don't go crazy because it looks like a mustache. And the first time I did it, eh. Okay, and what I've been doing to blend this out is I've been squeezing a little bit of this Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in the shade 14 on the back of my... Oh, oh my god, this happened the last time. I can't believe this happened again. Like, I knew this was going to happen and it happened again. It's fine. On the back of my hand like this. Then I'll dip my Real Techniques brush in it just a little bit and I'll go in and blend this over the contour. And then blend out the contour and add a little bit of cream blonze. Add a little bit of cream blonze at the same time. Do you see that? Like, oh, it looks so good. So I'm not like putting a lot on the brush. As you can tell, it's literally just a little bit. Just kind of like a wash of color because I don't want this to look orange. This is a little bit dark. This stuff just gives me the most amazing, like healthy glow of my life. I feel like I don't really recognize or notice the acne on my face when I have this combination on, especially this bronzer. Oh my God. I don't even think it's a bronzer or like a, I don't even think it's like meant to be like a, a cream bronzer. I think it is like a highlight, but I use it for that. So who cares? Going in with this brush from ColourPop. It's the E9 brush. I really like ColourPop brushes. Blending out this contour. I'm gonna go in with the back of my sponge until this is like completely diffused, completely blended out, and it doesn't look that dark anymore. Going in with the side of the back that I haven't used yet to do the sides and kind of diffuse that a little bit more. I've been liking kind of like a darker tan nose at the moment. Not a darker tan nose, but like a warmer nose. I feel like it looks more like summer skin. Okay, now the my most favorite thing that I've been doing, actually no, everything's my favorite. Everything's my favorite thing that I've been doing is going in with this ColourPop lipstick. This is the shade, ow, or ooh, I don't know. It's by, I think it's the collaboration that Shayla, Makeup by Shayla did with them. It is this beautiful peach. I'm going to try to smudge it on the back of my skin right here. Mm. How pretty is that? I love it so much. I know if this collaboration is still available. I believe that it's not, but I'm sure you can find a beautiful dark peach lipstick like this one to use on your own skin. Now I'm going to pat it on the back of my hand before I go into the, the cheeks. And I'm going to do a pressing motion. Like this. And I'm bringing it kind of high up. High up here and back here. I'm going to do the same thing again on this side. And then I'm going to grab this brush and literally go over my forehead, my nose. And sometimes I do go a little crazy on the nose. So I'm going to grab the sponge and just really lightly, like literally ever so lightly. Oh my God, I look like I'm sun-kissed. I really like this look right now. I saw this makeup artist. She's the makeup artist that does like Tiger Mist models. I think it's like Frankie's bikinis. All those beautiful Australian models. They have this on their eyes, okay? I saw this video and I almost cried because I'm like, oh my god, these models look so fucking pretty. I love their makeup. I've always wanted to know who does their makeup and how they do it. And yeah, that video, she used this. Oh my god, I got it on my nails. And I was like, you know what? I am going to go buy this, okay? And I bought it during the Sephora sale. So I was like, what a better time. What a better time than now. I'm going to use a blending brush. Oh, I didn't even tell you what shade this was in. This is the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in the color Dark. And of course it's all. So at first I'm just bringing it in right here and then I'm going to wing it out because this is really hard to wing out because it's wet. So you have to be really careful. And then I'm taking the brush. I'm barely touching it because I don't want to bring it too far out. And I really like this eyeshadow base because I use it alone and it doesn't dry super fast. So you don't have to work like super fast with it. Forgot to blend this out. I'm going to go in with my little ColourPop brush to blend this out. My little mustache contour. And then I'm going to go in with the bead liner and go over that. Let's be honest. So I'm using my favorite eyebrow pencil from L'Oreal. This is the Brow Stylist Definer and the color Dark Brunette. And I literally have not been filling in my eyebrows at all. Just that little 
area right here. Okay, so I actually haven't even been elongating them or anything. I just really haven't. I've just been kind of filling them in lightly. I don't even know what I'm saying, but they, they just look like instantly darker, right? And I only did right here, like the middle of both. Right? Crazy. I'm just brushing them up like this. Why do they look so dark? I don't know. You guys, this new eyebrow product I've been literally obsessed with. It's so good. I've been literally obsessed with everything, but um, it's really good. It's by Patrick Ta for brows. It's this dirty little thing. You guys can see the reflection of everything. My camera, there it is. Um, I have it in the tinted version. They have a clear one and there's tinted. So what you do to, oh my God, it's just like National Kamala today when she's fucking filming. That's what it is. I've been using this product so much that my little spoolie and so I think you should wash your spoolie after using this product because it's like gunky. Look. Why isn't it focusing? I don't know. It's gone gunky. So I'm just going to use the end of another one and then I'll wash it. It's fine. But I just sprayed. You're supposed to do either, I think it's like a drop of setting mist or water onto the stuff. And then you grab your little spoolie and you go like this and you scrape it up like that. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm just gonna do a little bit because I've been going so crazy with this product. Like you have no idea. But I've been really like it's kind of like a soap brow but tinted. So I just brush this into my brows and I feel like it makes them a little bit lighter. And right now with my lighter hair, I kind of like the the lighter brows. If I'm being honest, I like them a little lighter. It just fluffs them up. Can you see? Like how look at this. They are fluffy. Time for mascara. I'm going to be using my Dior Maximizer or Dior Show Maximizer 3D. It's just the primer before I go in with real mascara. And I think you guys have noticed that I didn't use my Becca and I brightener. I've only been using it lately. I've been doing like full glam, like when I really need it. But for more natural looks like this, I find that applying the concealer that way that I did, the way that they've been doing it on TikTok, literally I don't need like the under eye brightener. I feel like it just makes it look so much better without the brightener. So yeah, that's what I've been doing, and I've been really liking it. So I'm just going in with this primer. Only do a little bit, because my lashes aren't doing that well right now. Because I've been doing so much falsies. And I kind of just take the falsies off just like that. I don't use like makeup remover or anything. <laughs> it's so bad, I know, but it's fine. I've been using castor oil on them for like the past two days. I'll tell you guys. But I'm just going to let that chill on my eyes a little bit. Mom! Come say hi! Oh, hi! Ben, get it with me. No. Yes, come say hi, mom. Come say hi, mom. <laughs> now, mascara, just my L'Oreal telescopic. Is it telescopic? Yes, I love this gold telescopic L'Oreal mascara. It's so good. I love it so much. I don't know what's going on with me today, guys. I was filming this, like, what I eat in a day lactose free for my lactose intolerant peeps, for like vegetarian peeps, for like, I would say kind of vegan, along those lines video, but I'm actually, I don't think I'm gonna be done with it until I come back from Mexico. And I'm gonna be in Mexico for a month, so, that's something that's coming up soon. I also did a cooking video with my mom. I'm really excited to share that one, cause it is something that is so popular right now. So popular like me and my cousins would drive 30 minutes 40 minutes almost actually like almost an hour to go get this stuff And my mom makes it different. She makes it so good. I can't wait to share that with you guys, too, but I think we're done guys. I just put some lip stuff on because that's all I've been doing. I don't even set my face This is a makeup look that I have to set if my boyfriend's around because we're just like touching cheeks It's gonna move but if you don't have a man's and you're not going to be touching cheeks with someone, then you don't have to set this. Okay, I'm going in with Max Spice. I haven't been that strict over the product that I've been using on my lips. Because it's actually been like varying day to day. But I've been obsessed with this peachy baby lips. It's a, just this blush one. And honestly guys, I don't even know if they sell this anymore. But I really... Okay... BRB, I have to get all this lip stuff off and get foundation rubbed off of it too because it's it's not looking cute. I'm back. I just want to go rub up that, um, the, like the middle of my lips, so I'm just reapplying this because it was just looking crusty. I don't usually put like lipstick right over foundation, but I didn't think it was going to make much of a difference and it did. 
yeah now you can really see the color of this peachy lip gloss lip balm lipstick kind of thing and then the last thing i do is set my face with this morphe continue spray this is like the only setting spray i've been liking at the moment i don't know why i think it's just because it comes out so so soft and so smooth but yeah i'm really glad that i got to share this with you guys i've been loving this combination if you have these foundations or dupes for these foundations you guys should definitely try them together try the oil you don't it doesn't have to be this oil but try an oil before your foundations try not setting it and be more comfortable in your skin do whatever it, skin routine makes you feel good about in your own skin i know that i was really trying to hide my texture and my acne with the full coverage matte foundation and that looks really like in my other video i'm still loving that like photography and everything but um doing this just kind of in person i feel like it looks more glowy healthier although i still have acne i still really like how my skin looks in this foundation routine so this is my everyday go-to quarantine I'm gonna take pictures of myself for instagram gonna like go leave the house this is what i've been doing every single day if i do my makeup this is what i've been doing so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more makeup videos let me know and i'll film more for you i'm really excited to share the rest of the videos with you and i'm really excited to share what i'm going to be doing in mexico so like this video if you enjoyed it please comment down below if you have tried this combination combo if you're from my instagram fam comment down below i would love to know i know i did share this a couple of times maybe once maybe twice i don't remember i really appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye